YouTubes and you guys have been demanding to watch the response video to the male loneliness video. And here we are. I have heard your cries. I have heard your pleas. I have come to answer your needs. Only specific ones for content, for the YouTube content specifically. You guys wanted it, I shall provide. Let's watch it. If you guys are unaware, my last video was the one I've been working on for a while called the Male Loneliness Epidemic. If you haven't watched that Hi, video, YouTube. please Hi. go watch it first before you watch this one. So this we all did. makes we a did. lot more sense. And then come back to this one. Link in the description. Now, although there was a lot of support for this video, there was also a lot of hate. A lot of hate. In fact, the most hate that I've probably ever received on a video ever. Oh, and wow. if you're familiar with the content I make on this channel, gonna that be should be shocking. From angry themselves calling me ugly to angry wow. incels saying I'm a grifter who only wants to make money or something. Ridiculous. So before Someone we get on into YouTube those wanted to make money? untrue what? criticisms, Let's get into today's sponsor. <laughs> today's sponsor is Ridge Wall. Content creator trying to make money? That's crazy. Ridge wallets are high quality, minimal wallets that can go. hold up to 12 cards. Plus extra room oh, for it's all this that one cash again. you don't have. They're made with RFID blocking technology, which protects you sleek. from digital pickpockets, ensuring that you have the perfect blend of style and security. Their products come in over 30 different colors and yep. styles, including carbon fiber, gunmetal, and matte Give olive. Me I'm still on video. my Barbie arc, so my personal favorite is- Guys? Chat? Give Sam a summary of the last video. <laughs> I, it's the male loneliness one. I I I took an hour and a half reacting to it. I I can't give you a summary. I'm I'm sorry. I'm bad at summarizing things. Uh the flamingo pink yeah, they also offer matching key cases that are well, sleek brilliant. durable and keep your keys from jingling so you can instead get your jingling key entertainment from shoe on head videos of course and i'm Rich sure she, over 50, she's gonna get into it five star reviews and they're so confident that you'll love Basically, their products women. that you can yes. try them out for 99 days women. and if you don't like them you can return them for a complete refund they're also currently running a giveaway you can enter to win a new ford bronco or seventy-five thousand dollars. wait what I'm gonna enter this. So head over to ridge.com slash shoe or click the <laughs> link down below and enter code bet. shoe at checkout to get 10% off your purchase, as well as 10 bonus entries to the giveaway. Big thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video and thank you the viewer yeah, for she's not really skipping pretty. the ad. You didn't skip the ad, right? I can always really count on you for not skipping the ad, right? Now let's get back to the video. Men are lacking purpose and a man will crawl through broken glass for a purpose. And there's a lot of truth to what you're saying there and in, and in the whole video, which is worth watching. That video has uh, 1.5 million views in just the last week. Thanks, Matt Walsh. You're my greatest ally. My male loneliness video was the fastest growing video on my channel to date. And there is a reason for that. It resonated with a lot of people. I got hundreds and hundreds of comments every single day by men venting in my comment section, feeling like I I also have a lot of men. Like, after I reacted to the video, there is also a lot of you guys and a lot of men um, venting in the comment section just for my reaction video. Not even on her video, just on my video. And some of the things I've read were crazy. Really fucking crazy. I try to read every single comment. I can't respond to, I can't respond to every single one. I already, like, I get over a hundred comments already on on the react videos right and that's that that is insane i i'm sorry i am a single person and i can only do so much i try to read everything but i can't respond to everything for once they were being heard and that they were in a place where they could talk it was simultaneously the most heartwarming and heartbreaking yeah. thing I've ever seen. And this discussion blew up so much that it eventually reached TikTok. So apparently oh, no. there's a male loneliness epidemic right now. <laughs> Is this the consequences of your own actions? Oh, no. Men get recognized for the useless things that they are in society. And what do men do? Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm lonely. Is there a male loneliness epidemic right now, or are more and more oh women just progressively god. realizing that there's a lot better things to do in life than be stuck with a toxic, insecure man? I don't think we're in the middle of a male loneliness. This is literally the people she was calling out last video. Oh my god, they're calling themselves out. Fine? How crazy is that? Yo, thank you for the follow. Have a pint of rice. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I was at 22 years old, but now I'm better, so I understand why people feel alone. Yeah, hey. Yo, Nausea, what up? Welcome back, welcome back. Great to see you again. Loneliness epidemic. We're in the yeah, middle of a mass the female awakening. Yeah, it's literally the people she called awakening. out. You're Best just reaping the consequences right. of your of your terrible upbringing. Your own right. actions. Some men are lonely because y'all are fucking creeps. Y'all fucking deserve to be lonely. Every single one of them. This is their. Yay! You generalizing men while you hate it when men generalize women. Yay! I guys, every single one of you. Chat, every single one of you, every single one of you is, according to these people, a creep, a predator, and worse. Every single one of you. Obviously. Obviously. Every single one. Why are you even here? Why are you guys talking to me? You are all so fucking creepy. Every single one of you, you are so fucking creepy. Ugh, get away from me. Get away. I need my safe space. Ew, ew, ew. Hiss, hiss. Ugh. <laughs> Your fault. Fuck them. Men's loneliness epidemic that's going on. Um, that sounds like it really sucks. Just wondering if they have considered uh, smiling more. Wow, that's a really funny joke. I've never heard that before. If you consider, did she literally just say, have you considered smiling more? Did she just say that? Of your terrible upbringing. Your own actions. Some men are lonely because y'all are fucking creeps. They all fucking deserve to be lonely. Every single one of them. This is their fault. Fuck them. Men's loneliness epidemic that's going on. Um, that sounds like it really sucks. Just wondering if they have considered uh, smiling more. She literally. And then. This is the kind of woman. This is the kind of woman. If a man does smile at her, she goes like, Why are you looking at me, creep? Stay away and gets up the pepper spray. Or oh, she's also the one that. Yes, I have a boyfriend! Uh, if you're homeless, just buy a house. Yeah, legit. Why are you homeless? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like saying some women feel unsafe. It's their fault for being unsafe. <sighs> yeah. I have a meme for this. I post. Okay. Well, sorry, TikTok lady. I smile every day at work. Let my face rest. Oh, oh God. <laughs> just smile more. It's American medicine for your loneliness. Smiling? But, guys, guys, guys. Actually... Actually, this the, this is me being real right now, right? If you're feeling sad though, like, ignore women right now. If you're feeling sad, ignore the video, ignore women, ignore anything else around you. Even if you're feeling sad, if you smile, even if it's a fake smile, even if it's a fake smile, your brain will still activate as if it's a normal smile, a genuine smile, and it will still give you those those good ho hormones going on. It will help. I mean, smiling through the pain is a phrase for a reason, right? I had a customer at work telling me to smile. Like, why should I if I'm not... <laughs> what do you work as? Wow, that's a really funny joke. I've never heard yes, that, that before. Yes, that is true. Have the men it's just tried start, smiling a little bit more? Oh you know, I recommend smiling more. Have they tried smiling more? Have you thought about smiling more? Maybe they should smile more. Maybe they should try to smile more. Have they tried smiling more? That's awful. Mm, have they tried smiling? Is this why people think women aren't funny? Bleep. No way. Ain't no way so many of these women said just smile more. Ain't no fucking way. Holy shit. <sighs> no, I sp what I cried, I had no idea why. No! It's actually recommended to smile when you. 
you're on a phone call because of your tone of voice and yeah actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was actually taught this when i was working for a call center i was actually taught this that people can hear like your expressions right like it is an audible thing week now tiktok isn't the only place where this insanity happened the thumbnail of my video went viral on Twitter, which led to some of the most funniest and unhinged reactions. So we are going to go through some of these and talk about them, as well as some of the angry comments I got from the Manosphere. Let's jump oh into it. Yo, monster! What monster? Man I love it. Man loneliness is not real and not valid. Oh my God. Men are lonely because they are terrible people. Oh. Why the f should anyone have empathy for men? Men were born bad. Men are subhuman, right. and their loneliness can't be cured because they can't relate to actual human beings. Most men are born useless and are meant to die alone. Nah, what? male suicide rate needs to be higher, actually. What? These men are 100% the most- ain't, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. This- Where is it? Where, where the fuck is it? Ain't no fucking way. Wait, this person actually just said men should unalive themselves. Ain't no way. I don't want to punch these people. Oh my god, I want to punch these people. These men are 100% the most misogynistic demons on the planet. Sexism, and yes. Every bit of. Guys, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean this is sexism? Sexism only counts if it's towards women. You can't be sexist towards men, right? You can't be racist towards white people, right? No, that's impossible. What do you mean? What do you mean? All these people, people watching right now, this is sarcasm. Holy shit loneliness they feel lol you don't understand the pleasure it gives me to see these men crying and depressed imagine losing in the world that is literally built for you this is imagine getting pleasure out of someone else crying what kind of fucking sociopath are you holy shit this is an insane question to ask <laughs> we invented racism you can't use it against us yes <laughs> you know, racism and sexism, right? 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 Considering how society continues to fail women, it gives me to see these men crying and depressed. Imagine losing in the world that is literally built for you. <sighs> this is an insane question to ask, considering how society continues to fail women and girls at every turn. Crazy how men's well-being is considered a communal responsibility, but women's well-being isn't even considered. The video was about men. There's a video about females too. Probably was made later. But this was an issue about men. We weren't talking about women in the This is like... This is talk... This is me presenting apples and someone asking, what about... What about grapes, though? <laughs> well, cry about anything except for dominance, even then they would find something oh my god. Now these... This is the very thing is now, these same women are the ones crying about passport bros. The fuck are passport bros? The fuck are passport bros? What? Oh, how delightful! A tweet from Earth 2! I'm so tired of the idea that we must have infinite empathy for men's loneliness while women are sexualized from fucking birth. See, people who go overseas to get a wife? Because they can't stand Western women. Oh, interesting. Never heard of the term, actually. I mean, it only makes sense for them to be quote-unquote passport. 
photos <laughs> with how fucking toxic females are towards them. Why can't women just respect everyone unless they commit a crime, right? We are assaulted, harassed, raped, and killed for something we didn't choose to be. But boo-hoo, the poor men and their inability to make friends. You know we can talk about multiple things at the same time, right? Exactly! That's exactly my point! Like... It's not one or the other, it's both! Holy shit, how are you- Why do you need to be so egoistic to make things only about yourself? <sighs> People that are critically online. Who are freaks? Mm. 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 Right. Also, it's deranged to say that society doesn't care about women's sexual assault. We have domestic violence shelters that we can go to. Men don't. Men being assaulted by women, men being raped, is all played off as a joke. When a, a little jet. boy is molested by an older woman, it's. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what they say? When a school kid, maybe a teenage boy, gets, you know, the man will go, not, like, not all men, but a lot of men will go, where was she when I was younger? Where was she when I was younger? She could have assaulted me. She could have done that to me. I I want would have wanted her. He should be happy. Women can't get our word because X reason here. Because obviously they they are the dominant dominant gender and only women can be assaulted. YouTube, please don't cancel me. YouTube, please don't demonetize me. Please, thank you. It's seen as cool and hot. Society is fucked up all around. It's mm -hmm. not a competition. It is- Oh, also? Also? It's insane how, in most cases, if a woman makes other allegations against you, with, if it's just allegations, if you're a man, your career is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Even if they, even if it's, if it's proven to be wrong, your career is done. Y'all remember? Oh my god. Y'all remember Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Yeah. Uh. No way you posted the shit in Insta band. Wait, what was going on? Did I miss something? I saw when someone literally posted. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you. Ah, oh, yeah, you talked about that in the Discord. Holy shit, that's insane. Also. There needs to be a law for women who falsely accuse people of assault for them to get backlash for it. Like, for them to be held responsible for it. There needs to be a law in protection of the falsely accused. Holy shit, why is that not a thing yet? Actually, in my country there is. Oh my god, bless your country. Bless your country. Not a zero-sum game. My- You're from- I forgot what country you were from. I think it was the Balkans. The video can exist alongside your advocacy for women's rights. As long as you're not saying dumb fucking shit, I will stay out of your way. I don't give a fuck about male loneliness. Like, bro, if you can't meet a girl, just dial up the queer homie and hook up like a normal person. This, this chick just literally told a man, go be gay. This chick just told 
Top man, be gay. If you can't find a girl, be gay. <laughs> so many friends of mine have said they wish they could be. <laughs> but they're just straight. <laughs> if you can't get a girlfriend, be a girlfriend for the homies. <laughs> Uh, sorry, <laughs> you need to choose a different uh, sexuality because obviously you're failing at being straight. <laughs> Bros before hoes apparently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, a bro would treat you better than her. A bro one hundred percent would treat you better than her, though. Uh, than she would treat you. Even estrogen fun for the fanboy of the group. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. As a joke for now. <laughs> I can't. I'm just looking at, at her profile picture and I'm thinking like, of course she would post something like that. God, if men are Wait, only on an epidemic scale, why don't they just cuddle and make out with each other? Another person telling men to be gay! Just be gay! Do these women do that with each other? I think you're suddenly like, oh yeah, let's hang out and be gay. Huh? Like, ain't no way these women are telling their men to just like change their sexuality. What the fuck? Why don't they just befriend and date each other? Problem solved. <laughs> I love this advice. Just be gay. Simply become gay. Are you a lonely man? Are you a fucking loser? Just become Consider gay. Sucking Tell me why I, as a queer woman, should take time out of my day to care about men and their issues. Quickly. I'm not disabled. Why should I care about disabled people? Why talk about unions or workers' rights when I'm self-employed? If I only cared about causes that only affected me, I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel. I mean, yes, you don't have to care. You don't have to care about everything. But it doesn't affect me, so why should I care is just a terrible reason not to care. That legit? And she made a post about it. Just by making a fucking post about it, you're contributing to the fucking issue. Holy shit, if you don't care, okay, go somewhere else. Don't voice your opinion, because clearly you want other people to not care as well. And don't forget. Don't forget, right? You, as a queer person, also want people to care about your issues so you should care about other people's issues too <sighs> some people there's no such thing as misandry just women who have had bad experiences with men and have woken up there's no such thing as racism <laughs> yeah just white people who have had bad experiences yeah. with black people Clearly. that's you that's what you sound like yep can't stand this sort of pathetic pity party we live in a time of abject plenty compared to any other time in history. Yeah, stop being depressed. You have a bunch of cheap plastic shit from China. Line goes up, world more gooder. Male loneliness epidemic and it's just- <laughs> No, I've not seen that video. Maybe we'll watch it next uh, week. It's them not being able to get laid. Like, we really don't give a fuck. I love how this is always the go-to when it comes to this conversation. Oh no, the men aren't getting laid. But if you like, actually talk to some of these guys like even if you talk to some of these incels the ones who like don't hate women they're gonna tell you that it's not really about sex it's it about really companionship isn't. it's about friendship it's about having a girlfriend a wife yes. a family and a lot of these people were like like l being lonely it's not about the having sex literally it's not about that holy shit Oh my god, no, 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 it has to be about sex, right? Men only think about sex, right? Right, right? That's what's 24-7 on in your guys' head. Oh, sorry, you don't even think with your head. You don't have a brain, right? You only think with your dick. Oh my god. The audacity of these fucking women. <laughs> Men only want one thing and it's fucking disgusting. A family, good old hug and we good. Yeah, there's a song about that. Yeah, we have two heads and enough bubble. <laughs> I 
thinking is so overrated. It is, though. From the A's. It ain't all sex. It really like, is. Well, you know, that's why we should just legalize sex work. And honestly, I don't think that's a solution. Maybe it's like a temporary one, but it's kind of like putting a band-aid on a broken leg. I don't think paying for meaningless sex with a stranger is going to solve the problem. It's not. In fact, it might make it worse over time. Instead yes. of male loneliness epidemic. Call it a cis male unfuckability crisis. She says while being dressed like a fucking thought. Ain't no way she just called all these men unfuckable. Oh my god. She has an OnlyFans probably. <laughs> she looks like it. She does look that way. It's just like what I said in the video. They have to add cis now because they, they don't do. want to insult they trans just, men. Men suck. I hate them. Cis so, men are the well, issue. Not you. <laughs> You're not a man, man. Yikes. Bruh, when they stop killing women, I'll stop generalizing them. Maybe I'll start worrying uh. about their loneliness when they stop unaliving and raping children and women. Yeah. Uh, because women don't do that at all. No, not at all. Women, women. Uh, no. Women are saints. Us women, we are all saints. We can't. We can't commit crimes. We cannot commit crimes at all. It is impossible. It is in our genetics that we cannot commit crimes. Like, we, like, slightly think about a crime, suddenly our brain rewires to, oh, let's do the dishes. Yeah, lonely guys, stop being children, then maybe you won't be so lonely. What's all this hubbub about male loneliness? Hubbub. Y'all are acting like you're oppressed when I've opened myself up to friendships and relationships with you just to get told I have sucking eyes. That is sucking eyes. That is hyper specific. Not everyone is your ex-boyfriend. All of men's problems are created by themselves. How is it women's responsibility to fix them? Seriously, why is it always women's job to fix everything? Who it says that? No one! No one fucking said it is a woman's job to fix everything! You know what? I know why she commented that. Because this bitch feels called out. She got called out. That's why. Oh my god. Any chance to blame other women she seems to always take. <laughs> Kids, why haven't you fixed everything already? God. I'm trying. One video at a time. <laughs> Obviously. It's women's job to fix everything. Any chance to blame other women she seems to always take, LMAO? You are the problem. It's you, Carrie. Yes, she was the problem. Yay! She bring awareness to issues in society and on the world. She is the issue. I'm the first to admit that if women ruled the world, yes, it may be a bit goofy, but it would... It'd probably be a bit of a better place, Lamal. Uh, I have no opinion on that. I would have to think and form an opinion of that. No, no opinion of, of that right now. As someone who got, who's gotten bullied and abused, I would say the rate was about 50-50 males and females in regard. Oh. Yes, both genders of. Both, like, female and males. Everyone is fucking awful. My bad. My bad. She was the issue? Of course. Yes, yes, yes. She is the issue. Bring water for the patriarchy and blaming women for men feeling lonely and radicalized. I find it repulsive anytime I see a woman like her do shit like this. It makes me actively turn violently against things that even I would originally think are nuanced topics. And also, ah. yes, men are lonely. No, it's not up to women to fix that off nazi bitch this is like esmond said people are calling others a nazi as an insult and not like as an actual nazi but just like ridiculous like 
How the fuck? Like, I bet this person doesn't even know what a fucking Nazi is. Like, to me, as a fucking German, this is insane. Calling someone a fucking Nazi. Like, what? Like, completely unrelated on top of that. Like, huh? Someone just uh, agrees with me must be Nazi. Yeah, legit, that's how they act. Like, what? <laughs> Actually, Nazi is offensive. You have to call them the... <laughs> the NSDAP? The fuck now? What from what? Things I blamed in the video. Technology, social media, dating apps and the commodification of love. The media, low wages, the housing crisis, social alienation, lack of community, the left not speaking to men, the feeling of having no purpose. Things I didn't blame. Women. Now this might That's come it. as a shock to you, but not everything has to do with women. Sometimes we can Legit. talk about other things. Sometimes Holy those other shit. things are not women. My video was about society as a whole, and yep. yes, that includes women. I never- The fact that so many women got called out on that though, like... No, it's not women's job to fix it. It's everyone's job. Dumb fucking bitch! said it was women's responsibility. I think I mentioned women like once, and it was to say that women are also lonely, but that the media and society treats women's loneliness much differently than it treats men's loneliness. And yet thousands of tweets and comments about how I was apparently blaming women and how it's not women's fault. It's to the point where I'm like- You can tell when people haven't watched the video, man. You can fucking tell these women did not watch the video. They saw the thumbnail and made a fucking comment on it. That's what they fucking did. They did not watch it. Shit. Like, is this projection? Do you think it Legit? is your fault? But again, my video was not about you. My video was about men. And if you want to listen to a video about women and women's problems, like I said in the original video, tune into literally anything else. Legit. Go to any college campus, turn on any TV show, watch a CIA ad. She's so embarrassing, made an entire career out of being a pick me. You didn't watch the video. And I'm not there going is. to. Oh well, my god! I didn't watch the video because I'd there rather is. shoot myself than sit through there a shoot is. video. There Can someone it is. take one for the team and watch this vid to get an answer? I'm sorry, but there it was it a 20 is. minute long video. I have ADHD, and I know some of y'all do too, but mm -hmm. I know you motherfuckers are watching five hour YouTube documentaries about shit like iCarly. I know you can take <laughs> time out of your business. Sap? Sap? <laughs> You are called out! <laughs> the schedule from being the most miserable people on earth and watch a 20 minute long video. Here, does this help? <laughs> are you paying attention now? Yes! <laughs> she doesn't need to say it's women's fault for us to know exactly what she means. This is like bordering on ah. schizophrenia. Uh, yeah, she didn't say it, but we all know she did. Oh this is God. why I advocate for mental health care to be free. <laughs> this is just like... The, like, y'all seen that discord, about, discord on Twitter about Esmond where... Uh, I think the video thumbnail or the title was like, we, uh, they need to be stopped or we need to stop them. And some people went like, he's talking about Jews. He's talking about the, uh, 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 all kinds of sorts of groups, right? The most ridiculous one that stuck out to me that was saved in my head was Jews. Like, huh? How the fuck did you get that? And as Esmond said himself, they didn't watch the video. There wasn't a red boy. <laughs> oh my god. If you're gonna complain about something, at least watch the fucking video. And if you'd rather shoot yourself, 
Be my fucking guest. We need to get these bitches some therapy. Male loneliness this, male loneliness that. Do you know how fucking isolating it feels to almost never be able to develop genuine friendships with men because they see you as nothing more than an object for sexual conquest? I'm gonna tell you something not many people probably have told you in your life. It's not about you. I get Legit. that the friend zone is a very frustrating thing to deal with. Trust me, I know. Nothing worse than work, I'll being you later. With the guy, After but not the video. having a romantic attraction and having to cut him off because you don't want to lead him on or hurt him. It sucks being girlfriend zoned. But coming into this conversation, basically like, woe is me, so many people want to fuck me, is a little insane. Like, maybe if this discourse was about the friend zone, this would make sense. But this is like barging into a conversation full Ugh. of starving people and being like, I ate too much chicken tendy, you guys. <laughs> my tummy hurts. Oh like, get out of here. <laughs> women got sick of men creating a society where women were second class citizens. So now men are facing loneliness. Wait, what are miss heads off to whom? Oh, Sam and Irish talking. Fair. Shouldn't befriend the men who objectify you. Just, you know, yep, yep, yep. But hey, you need a, you need a bad boy. You really need a bad boy. <laughs> Stan, uh, Stan, the fucking coin. Are you the person that keeps commenting coins on my YouTube videos? <laughs> Are you him? <laughs> I've seen you. I've seen your comments. I've seen them. <laughs> yeah, being a society where women... Like, get out of here. Women got sick of men creating a society where women were second-class citizens, so now men are facing loneliness. Yeah, this oh is God. payback to you for not letting women vote decades ago. Yep, you personally, yep, payback. men failed themselves. They built a whole oh system for their benefit, and in the moment it starts to crumble because the oppressed class they've always subjected, women, is waking up. They start to put the blame on us. Cowards and dangerous misogynists. I'm gonna say something. <coughs> Men have built today's system, yeah? Yeah? They have built their own system so they can solve their own problems, right? So me, as a German, my ancestors were Nazis. So I need to be punished for that, right? I need to be punished for my ancestors. I don't, I don't actually know if my ancestors were Nazis. I'm just, like, I'm just putting it out there. I have no idea. I don't think so. I got no idea. No idea. I'm just, like, generally saying, as a German, right? As... We're Germans as a whole. All of us, we we committed the huge uh, World War II. It's our fault. We're all Nazis. We need to be held accountable. Yeah? Yeah? Of course. Of course. My bad, guys. My bad. It's my bad. Me, personally. My bad. I need to take responsibility for colonization. Let's go. Yeah, all you British people as well, yeah, you all need to take responsibility for colonizing so many fucking countries. Right now, take take responsibility. It's your guys' fault. <sighs> so first of all, nobody's putting the blame on you. Nobody did that. I didn't do that. You made that up in your heads. And second of all, this system wasn't created for the average man. It was created for the rich and powerful. <laughs> it benefits the rich and powerful. They have their boots on our necks, and the handmaidens are like, oh no, they look kind of sad. I'm sorry. What? Who has their boot on your neck? Oh, huh? men? You know who has their boot on your neck? The satanic pedestals <laughs> in charge of our government. These soulless demonic corporations that would throw your mother into a wood chipper if it made them make an extra penny. That's who has the boot on your neck. Not Joe Schmo working two jobs so he doesn't get evicted. Here's some male loneliness oh discourse god. for you. Oh god. Do you ever at all, even for a second, consider the problem is you? That maybe, just maybe, the reason you're lonely is that you are an awful human being? Truly just awful? And that it's right that you are lonely? It's fair. It's fair. Guys. 
dear Chet, it's fair and justified that y'all feel lonely. According to this Twitter person, it is justified for you to feel lonely. I legit can't wait for someone to call a video terrorist. <laughs> As a Polish, I will never blame modern Germans for the past. There, there it is! Like, we are not our ancestors. We are not our grandparents. We are not even our parents. Holy shit! I mean, yeah, they probably do consider that. Uh, the suicide rate doesn't lie. Maybe if some men weren't bigots. The solution to male loneliness oh is God. literally just being a better person. I or, remember, guys, remember, just jerk off. Just jerk off. It's gonna fix your loneliness. I love that the implication here is that lonely people are bad people. Every lonely man is just a bigot and a racist and an Andrew Tate fan. I guess it makes it easier for them to like not care about this if they paint these people as the enemy. If you dehumanize the enemy, it makes it easier to sleep at night, I suppose. Now, I started noticing a reoccurring pattern with a lot of these accounts. A lot of these accounts getting mad about or like dismissing the male loneliness discourse. Many of them have OnlyFans. This is relevant, this is relevant <laughs> because like, out of everyone on earth, why would those people be so mad about someone wanting to solve or at least bring attention to the male loneliness epidemic? This is like a crack dealer getting mad at people talking about crack addiction. This is your opinion and this is where it belongs. <laughs> I've seen that! I've seen that clip! Oh, I love that one so much! Holy shit! Legit! So many of these OnlyFans... fans... models... would be... out of their jobs if it wasn't for the male loneliness. You suck a fucking dick, woman. Holy shit. Have a good day. I could say that, yep. okay? I'm a YouTuber. Yep, it's far more exactly. degrading than being an OnlyFans model. Her face looks like Boom. she's pandering to pedophiles. That what? makeup style is so catered to pedophiles. They're actively trying to make themselves look like kids. Her makeup is so pretty! What are you talking about? She is so pretty! What? And her makeup? I love the eyeliner she does. That's the kind of eyeliner I do. That is so pretty. Like, hers is like that natural look makeup with the eyeliner. Like, what? How petty are you to go after her looks? Fans model. Her face looks like she's pandering to pe Like, how is this? What? What children are wearing makeup? And of course, like a profile picture that 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 speaks. She's she's she she's on OnlyFans, one hundred percent. That makeup style is so catered to people. Oh. They're actively trying to make themselves look like kids. Ah, yes. Children. Notorious for wearing big fake eyelashes. And 10 pounds of eyeliner. What? She is so pretty. What do you mean? And why, again, why would you be so petty to call someone out for their looks if you disagree with them? Uh, guys, did I peek? By the way, did I just, did I just peek when I screamed? Yes or no? I need to know. <laughs> yes, I peeked! No! A bit. Oh, I tried to fix it! Yeah, NATO bot. Hi! Fuck! Oh my god. Chat, stop! I only needed one yes! <laughs> <laughs> K 
can't stand this bitch and her side. Not to be me, but I told you so. I tried fixing it. I tried doing the stuff to fix it. Holy shit. Like, I tried turning down the gain. I, I, I tried looking into things that people suggested. Let me check the limiter, right? Uh, let me turn the limiter down a, a tot, a tad. Because people said turning the limiter on might help. Uh, okay, let's close it to this. Okay, uh, I don't know if I sound more silent now. Uh, next time, next time I screech, <laughs> tell me if I peaked or not. Yeah, chat, remind me if I peaked or not. Bart, <laughs> bitches with this makeup style piss me the fuck off. They always. She says the one that's probably looking like a fucking clown. This makeup style is so pretty and popular. Uh, I don't know about popular, I don't know why I said that. Do you have soundproofing? Sound bouncing off walls can do that, really? Uh, no, I don't have soundproofing. Taking someone on something that has nothing to do with the argument is a strategy that works. It's just not really something you do when you have a part. Ugh. Always wear that type of makeup. Looking at her makeup, I already know the type of person she is. You oh can just God. tell by her makeup. Not right. to be rude, but that makeup tells everything I need to know. Her uh, say all the bitches that look like they suck dick for a living. I'm sorry, but that's what your makeup says about you. Her makeup is so pretty. Fuck right off. Her makeup says everything I need to know. This is literal NPC behavior. <laughs> Not watching the video, blindly spewing the exact same insults. Just, I have no argument and I must scream. They don't even know why they're mad. They just saw a woman in the thumbnail of a video about men and their brains just broke. Her makeup doesn't look like ours. Her hair is styled differently than ours. Should it be like extra cute in this thumbnail? Yes. <laughs> that piss them off? I'm not like other girls. Why do we hate her again? Guys, why do we hate this person again? Can't oh form my, my own God. opinion. Help. Why do we hate her? Why do oh all incel adjacent women look like this? When you're a woman talking about men's issues online and they can't outright call you an incel, they just call you incel adjacent, I guess. And when they're not calling you incel adjacent, they're breaking out all reliable pick me pick me behavior. oh my god of pick course me girls are so ceo of pick me high oh priestess of, course of she's pick a me. me church so of i course. am the ceo of pick me and i guess by that definition i should also be a pick me right because i agree that there's an issue with male loneliness right because i mo mostly have male friends right because uh 98 of my viewer Face is males. I'm a pick me. I would pick you for fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake, guys. You're not helping the issue right now. <laughs> Pickable, but not pick me. Fair. God. God damn you guys. <laughs> oh, pick you, what the fuck? Stay away from my fucking nose, man. I feel like pick me is a slur towards actual high value women. Um, no. It is, uh, a pick me girl is an actual thing. But those people use it as a slur towards people like Shu. But it, 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 it is not. Oh. Why don't women pick me or oh, Sam? Chat, chat, you should pick Sam. <laughs> the high priestess. Maybe this video will boost me. So much for the raid. Welcome in raiders. What's up? What's up? Hope you had fine. Uh, fine. Yes, hope you had fine on your stream. <laughs> We don't have a we don't have a fucking mod around, do we? <laughs> Shout out! I will Mew Oh shit, I forgot the ad. Yo Mew, welcome in! We're just yapping. No mods tell ya shit! Mod check! Mod check! <laughs> Welcome and welcome and we're in the middle of yapping and insulting women, obviously. 
Let me call Tonks the same way I always do. No, don't do it. <laughs> Stop scaring her into thinking I'm crying. You have started to make other people worry. <laughs> You're molding a Twitter post, basically. Watch out, Pearl. I'm coming for your title. Now, I've already <laughs> talked about the pick me insult in other videos, but it's just so lazy, man. I'm so tired of it. I've been hearing it for over a decade now. And yes, there are people who absolutely do fit the definition of a pick me from yes. both genders. Men who talk about how much they hate men, women who talk about how much they hate women. But I don't oh, hate, I them. hate My women. mom is a woman. My sister is a woman. My friends are women. I am a woman. I can't. <laughs> I am a woman. <laughs> can't be women phobic. I have women friends. But the insult yeah, we is just, just hate so everyone. beyond overused nowadays. Every woman who doesn't toe the current line is a pick me. It's just a way to socially ostracize other women. To make you fall in line and agree with their opinions. But it's not going to work here because I am socially retarded and borderline autistic. So you have no power here. You can't tell me what to I believe. Feel that. You can't change my opinions. I feel that's not so my hard. boyfriend. I hope this bitch fails to wake up in the morning. Her <laughs> terrorism still hasn't stopped. Oh my They're god. She's still status. relevant? She should have went down with her anti-feminism shtick a few oh my years god. ago. I thought she would have fell off by now. If you <laughs> want to know how I didn't fall off, if you want to know how I'm still relevant, after 10 years. You lost Sam, five Look subs. Mirror. You stop being crazy. There you go, Sam. Give five subs. <laughs> oh my god. Gifted nine. Do you want subs? What did I find? Give some gifted nine subscriptions to the community. <laughs> no, I'm money. Money disconnecting. My fucking. Egypt studio in the middle of the react video I'm so sorry guys so sorry for the hold up oh my god thank you so much Sam <laughs> can't actually attack yep yo 69 gifted subs in total Sam <laughs> how did this not start a hype train oh I guess multiple people need to contribute for it I guess 69 subs and I uh, didn't get one as always. Let's go. Oh my god, you still. <laughs> Again! Cringe. I stopped being relevant. Deal? Fun fact, she reached out to. In you stopped being cringe. I stopped being ah, relevant. There it is. Deal? Fun fact, she <laughs> reached out to incel accounts for help of with course, this video. Of no, course. Of course. I'm not kidding. Oh. Well, yeah, it's good to go to the source and talk to the people who have experience Whoa. with the subject I'm talking about. I'm not lonely and I'm not a man. Despite what everyone. the mainstream media it's may really say, up. I do not, in fact, have a penis. Do not put in the paper that I have a penis. We scour the internet for weird videos. Holy shit! What do you mean rated with a party of 55? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Who are all of you? Hilts! Hi, Hilts! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for the raid! Let me, let me just do a shout out because uh, mod check, mods aren't here. <laughs> welcome, welcome! We are just yapping about. How women think it's, uh, how women make things about themselves in the end. Holy shit, thank you so much! No, what's literally mod check. Jay, are you here? I will mod you right the fuck now if you're here, Jay. Because I need a mod right now. You have now been promoted to, uh... <laughs> Not only are you a Discord mod right now, you're also a Twitch mod now. Holy shit. Welcome, welcome! Thank you everyone for the follows! Holy shit! Promoted to a customer. I refuse to be unpaid, instead I pay. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow! So many people who make kids- I'm not crying! God damn it, Wolfie! Wolfie has made people into believing I'm crying again. Honestly, I might actually cry. We just got raided by a huge number. This has never happened. Wow! How did you all get here? Oh. 
Holy shit, how did you all even get here? No, don't make me, don't make me have to edit this video. Don't make me actually have to edit the video. <laughs> I don't want to edit the video. I don't want to cut the section out to make the video. <laughs> I just want to, like, highlight it and put it all to YouTube. No, please, don't make me do it. <laughs> You're forcing me into editing it. <laughs> Holy shit, where did y'all come from? How did you find me? Seriously, how the heck did y'all find me? Where did you come from? Tilt, Tilt, thank you so much! How did this happen? I'm just yapping. <laughs> Was just searching me. She was doing just chatting. Oh my god, and I got lucky! Let's go! <laughs> hey! This is crazy! Maybe I should start streaming again just so I can rate you. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Oh my god, what were you doing? Were you also just chatting in that case since you were just searching, just chatting? That's how I usually do it. Look right woman, it makes me cry too. Oh my god. Ah, oh, also yapping. Yeah, let's go, let's go. We love yapping. <laughs> Oh my, oh my fucking god, um, so, hi guys, I'm Kitsu, uh, recently I started to yap a lot, for some reason, the, the yapping videos I randomly uploaded to YouTube, I've started to become a little bit of, yeah, I've started to gain a little bit of traction, I'm German, so my English sucks, but I don't have your stereotypical German accent, I also do gaming, and, uh, 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 art. <laughs> so, welcome in, welcome in, everyone. Welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Hello about Stitch and the Samurai. Stitch and the Samurai. Hold up, what's that about? You do have a German accent, don't lie to people. I, I do, but not that extreme. I don't have that extreme of an accent, right? Right? <laughs> We accidentally stumbled across an unhinged manga. Hold the phone. Stitch at the Samurai is an unhinged manga. Oh no. Oh no. How unhinged is it? I like your accent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody's first manga experience took a while to. That was someone's first manga experience? What the fuck? I don't know if anyone would think your accent is anything else other than German. I had a lot of people actually ask me where my accent is from, okay? Okay? <laughs> okay, excuse you. I am to one-shot it tonight, then. Is everything made by the Japanese? Uh, yeah, the Japanese are unhinged, but I don't know if that manga is. From the Japanese. <laughs> I'm scared what other Germans sound like now. Dude, uh, they, they speak like is this is uh, the oh, you know like instead of they say z z it says a kitsune accent of course of course of course what else <laughs> what else could it be oh my god you do have an accent but not as strong I also have an accent but a Dutch accent for me <laughs> ja lekker jungu <laughs> My accent has a stereotypical Z for. Uh, <laughs> I hate that! I hate the Z! Yeah! That's East. Uh, why did I go German? I don't fucking. Oh my god! I, I'm so nervous right now! Holy shit! You guys make me nervous! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! Thank you for the follow, Neko! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> So I went out of a fairy and don't look it up. I was recommended a book and no oh my god in the past. No no Holy shit Dude, I remember I remember my sister, my younger sister, who's like five years younger than me when we were like she was like I don't fucking know eleven or something and I was like fuck do I know? 
or like 15, who knows. Um, she found two girls, one cup. And she thought it was the most hilarious thing ever and showed it to everyone on her phone. And she showed it to me and I just like gagged. <sighs> My dear sister, thank you. <laughs> thank you, dear sister. Hey! <laughs> Either way, um, everyone just, that just came in from the rain. I don't know how long you were streaming for, but take care of yourselves, get something to drink, eat, maybe, take care of yourselves, just listen in if you wanna. Um, just thinking if there's anything else that needs to be said right now, or if we're just gonna go back to yapping. Oh, hi Sherlock! That That is my cat. You just came to sit next to the microphone. Got <laughs> I love missing a shoe on head react. Hey, let's go. Um, Sherlock, you wanna say anything to chat and raiders? No? You just turning around again? Okay, goodbye. No, he just he just turned around. He lost interest. <laughs> that part of the video stopped on. Sure, that is a penis! <laughs> I didn't even get so far as to reading that! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me say, do not go in ten fact, seconds back. have a penis. Do not put in the paper that I have a penis. We scour the internet for weird video to show you, and the other day we came across this. The no way. Wow. Oh, okay. The problem it's an is, she just affirms <laughs> them instead of converting them. Converting them to what? what? This is exactly the thing I talked about in my video. These people. <laughs> I was so focused on the red and chat too. I didn't notice. <laughs> don't want to actually help men. They just want to recruit we them need a their cap little cap. Oh, political I don't tribe. Know about would it be cool if everyone agreed with me politically? I was gonna say yes, but honestly, that would be a little horrifying. That would be a very scary world. My goal wasn't to convert men to and agree with me yes, yes. politically. My goal was just to bring attention to this issue and Imagine. put a spotlight on it. It is cool when people tell me, oh, like, you've changed my mind on this, you've changed my mind on that. I love that. I love to see that. I was That's unaware true. of that was my job. My job Thank is you. to get yep. on YouTube and say poo poo pee pee <laughs> and everyone go ha 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 and give me money. But in this Legit? case it was for me to go hey the, <gasps> the men are not okay and for people. <laughs> Thank you for the follow hills. Thank you. Thank you. My god I holy shit. <laughs> Biggest rate I've ever gotten. Thank you so much again. Oh my god. <laughs> gotta go. Look I gotta go Book supper, but I hope the rest of the stream is fun. Thank you so much. We'll go. Damn, that sucks. And give me money. Prager money. You is sharing she won head's video now. Explain to me how she's still a leftist. I personally think it's a good thing when people agree on good things. There should be Whoa. more people agreeing on good things, quite frankly. I feel like a lot Oh my god, hidden! Thank you! Hidden from the Sun One gifted five subscriptions to the community. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted! Thank you! <laughs> you gotta stop gifting subs, man! <laughs> Thank you, you so! <laughs> A lot of good things would be done in this country if more people agreed on good things. I don't know, no I, th I think it's pretty neat that this might be the first and last time a video that talks about alienation under capitalism and says the term material conditions will be shown to a massive right-wing audience like Prager oh, you. But hey, don't worry your little Thank heart. You. This, this will never happen to a left-wing YouTuber you watch. The internet feminists weren't the only ones booty blasted about my video. I, I can't really comment a lot about leftist and righteous uh, stuff. I, I'm really not into politics at all. Thank you so much for the full toast and carrot. Thank you, thank you. You? I also rustled the jimmies of some in the manosphere. You just want more OnlyFans subscribers. Wait, what? You don't care. You don't care about male loneliness or so. Here's a huge X on that shoe. It has an OnlyFans. What? Where did that where did they even pull that from? What? Also thank you for the follow!
Thank you, thank you! Care about male loneliness. She's actually a man dressed as a woman. Oh! That's why she or he is there speaking about men's issues. Now that's a wild one. She's married out. Yeah, I know! Like, but there are people that are married and still have OnlyFans, so that's not ex like, that's all, uh, exclusive to single women. There are married and Yo, Jay, I literally just mod you because we got a huge raid and you're out here cooking or something. How dare you? <laughs> How fucking dare you? I needed a mod to do a shout out. Mod sleeping, as always. <laughs> I already did the shout out. <laughs> I will never go to OnlyFans as long as they, there is orange YouTube. Oh my god, actually, like... How hard is it to type titties into Google? <laughs> Fellas, protect your sanity, your seed, and your wallet in these current times. Your seed? Let's protect your sanity, your seed, and your wallet in the current times. These women are shapeshifters. <laughs> your seed? Is it the kind of seed I'm thinking of? What? Times. These women are shapeshifters. This chick is gonna hit the wall in 10 years. That's why she cares about male loneliness. She sees many cats in her future. She's married! Also, having a lot of cats, what's the issue? Let's check if she owns her. I love that she does. <laughs> no, I'm sure she didn't. Oh, this confirmed. It's not hard to Google big golf titties, it really isn't. It really isn't to, uh, how to go to the orange YouTube. Like, just go orange YouTube, type in tits, and you're done. <laughs> but no, you gotta see it of this specific person, because she is going to be your future waifu. Hey, I mean, wife. Items in that one whole- Items lost all of my respect after that. People who have too many cats can take care of them and it becomes a big issue. True? True, but only if they can't take care of them. If they can take care of them, then it's all good. I fought cats. <laughs> I only like cat girls, booba. Only cat girls! They want us back on the plantation, gentlemen. Uh, what? Hold the line! I don't really understand what, what the conspiracy here in general is, though. Like, like, I'm just talking about a subject I found important and interesting, like I've been doing on this channel. And like, these guys are like, stay strong, brothers. Don't give in to temptation. <laughs> Why are we listening to women about male loneliness? Plenty of male figures discussing this. Wow, so... I can't. Like... Sorry guys, I apologize. I officially hereby apologize that I, as a woman, is reacting to a male loneliness video and I actually somewhat, like, a little bit, right? Just a little bit care about you guys and about your loneliness, just a tiny bit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Thank you for the lip lock. <laughs> oh, woman, and not a soft fanboy disappointment. I'm sorry. I wish I wasn't lonely. Oh my god. Egg, we got. It's a little fanboy. Honestly, I'm gonna say it. SJW behavior, liberal behavior, woman behavior. <laughs> I'm implied that I shouldn't speak or be listened to about a subject because I'm not the correct gender. Anyone can talk about anything they want. That's, That's free speech, bit. You don't have to listen. You can make your own- Why is it that suddenly two mods appeared? Suddenly, out of nowhere, goddamn. Long video talking about the subject, Mr. Man. But you know they're just gonna call you sexist and misogynist. So you might as well just use me as a human- Sense you're hating on women. <laughs> you scared me into thinking there was another hit. Oh my 
god. She the cell chilled hat man rights activist of oh my fucking god. It's not that she's a woman or cares. She's the kind of person who will only talk about an issue because it's popular. Women oh. sudden- Oh my god. Oh my god, because so many people were talking about it, right? Oh my god. Only want to help men. Women suddenly want to help men, but only because it benefits them and their causes. I mean, we did talk about it earlier, how a lot of people just jump onto issues for clout. But this wasn't a fucking case here. And, but only because it benefits them and their causes. Well, now not only oh are conservative women talking about it, but also the left. This is the problem with problem? Mm -hmm. the women that decide to come forward and speak about men's issues. They don't care about men's issues. You must ask the question. Now that they're coming around and talking about men's issues, is it to help men or to win men into their cause? Obviously, it's to win men into my cause. I need you guys to make me money, obviously. I need you all to follow my Twitch at my YouTube, and I need all that ad revenue. Duh! Obviously, only, only that, nothing else, absolutely nothing else. Keep subbing, uh, keep uh, fucking donating money and all that shit. Oh my god, like I don't, I don't actually care about you guys. Holy shit, mm -mm, never cared, not a, not a single shred of care ever, ever. <laughs> exposed, yeah, shit. I'm exposing my shit. <laughs> The cost conspiracy. <laughs> Rigged some just cheered 100 bits. Man, I hate it when people use me for money. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hydrate, I should hydrate. Hey, yo, Jimmy! Welcome back! What's up? Wrong chat, wrong chat. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? I hope you've been doing fine. And yes, holy shit. Hi. That's a pay too in chat. <laughs> so first of all. Oh, shit. Let me just clear something up because some Let's of go. you seem a bit confused. I started talking about these subjects 10 years ago, way back before it was popular to do so. Back when I was doxxed, harassed- Holy shit, she was? Feminists calling my job and trying to get me fired over mocking I never pop even feminism knew. and talking about men's issues. And Holy fucking shit. a lot of these people shit. coming at me now, telling me I- So much respect for her to still keep going after that. That's a carrot shit, yeah. But so much respect for her still going and staying strong and actually fucking Winning. I'm jumping on a bandwagon started like two or three years ago when it was safe to do so. So with all due respect, sir. Stay out of my territory. But in full seriousness, it is good when more people talk about this subject. I'm glad you talk about this. I'm glad there are people like the honey badgers who have been talking about this stuff for a very long time. This girl is a fake oh who God. wants every man to be a castrated beta male feminist commie like- What do you mean the boomer monster flavor? The monster flavor is sucking amazing. White monster is amazing. What the fuck are you on about? Huh? What do you fucking mean boomer monster flavor? And don't, don't you fucking call me fucking boomer. Holy fucking shit. Her boyfriend probably is. She takes advantage of men like this. Do not listen to her. Oh Lefty women want to help men. Help men become good feminists who devote their lives to helping women have all the power so they can make men their servants. Yes. That's what she's aiming for. Servants. Servants! Boomer drink monster. Yeah, like, what the fuck? I don't know. She's just not that old, she's only like 200 years old. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm a very young kid sooner. <laughs> Basically, we need to help men destroy men. What? That's the only way men should be helped. We women said so. Basically, we need to help men destroy men. 
another person who hasn't watched the video, obviously, even though this comment is on YouTube. The second comment is on YouTube and this person didn't watch the video. What? Uh. Ugh. It's caveman level comment, actually, though. Oh, shoe on head. Real quote, never trust a woman, even if they are saying the truth. <laughs> even when they are truthful, don't trust them. <laughs> based, honestly. Honestly based. <laughs> Nothing else to it. Just based. It's so weird how, like, they need to convince themselves that even when a woman is sh- Go five seconds back. <laughs> saying the truth. It's so weird how, like, they need to convince themselves that even when a woman is showing empathy and, like, caring about this subject that she's just, like, a lying snake in the grass. Literally just a mirror universe of these f***ing fem cells. It's mommy and daddy issues all the way down- <laughs> Ladies, be a good mom to your sons. Fellas, be a good dad to your daughters. Try to prevent creating the most insufferable, annoying people on earth, please. I don't know if it's because I grew up with a good relationship with both of my parents or what, but this gender war shit is just so toxic, man. Men and women Genius. need each other, you know? We're yin and yang, and the yin and yeah. yang is being torn apart by miserable people. Say cheese, miserable so people who want to make you miserable as well. One of the most valid criticisms I got about this video was that I didn't offer any solutions. And honestly, that's because I don't have any. I wanted to talk Duh. about the problem, but I don't know how to solve it. A lot of YouTubers and streamers and talking heads will get up on their platform and like pretend they know the answers to everything. But the truth is, I don't. I just think that it's a step in the right direction to be like, Hey men, you're struggling, but you're not a bad person. You matter. And if I could snap yep. my fingers and cure this, I absolutely would. But at the end of the day, men are men. And man problems require man solutions. And that solution, of course, is giving me money. Thank you- Of course! Thank you guys for watching this- Same. Give me money too, guys. Ah. That's a solution to all of this. Guys, you want you want to stop your loneliness? Please give me money. You're a local VTuber. Maybe not so local. This video. I'm reading the comments on that video all the time, and I will read the comments on this video as well. If you see some people talking about their experiences and venting about their issues and their problems in the comments, reply to them, support them, join in on the discourse. The shoe on head community is a very diverse community. Not like race-wise, I'm pretty sure you're all f***ing white, but like, <laughs> like politically diverse, but we can all come together to talk about the issues that matter, and I think that's, I think that's really cool, and I, we love to see it, and I will see you yes. in the next video. Honestly, amazing video. Amazing. Let me, let me link the video, let me, let me, let me do proper, a proper f***ing react etique, etique. Is that a word? Etiquette. Etiquette. <laughs> like it. No. Oh. She said it all. I agree. I agree with the ending of this. Holy shit. People literally... I can pay you in stocks. People literally called themselves out on Twitter. Holy fucking shit. And all those women literally were projecting and calling themselves out. I, I, I fucking can't with this.